Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that being true to itself can be disruptive to others. And that's okay. As a divine expression of God, you are here to live the life that you see for yourself. And although certain versions of us may believe that others will come along, the reality is that everybody can go. It's not good or bad, it simply is. And that's fine. Simply move in the direction that you're called. Be the person that you see yourself being. I said a lot and I will continue to say it a lot. Because there's so much freedom in that expression of self. Now, when you maneuver that way in your reality, there will be others that they don't understand. They don't get it. It's not your job to make them understand. It's not your job to control them. It's not your job to want to force them to be as you are or see as you do. No, you can forgive them by grace. You could forgive them from the understanding of they know not what they do. They don't know that their viewpoints or their perspectives or bring your resistance against yours. They simply may not know better. Or another way to put that is they may not truly understand who they are yet. Because when you know who you are, you operate from that power with thee. There may be things that you witness in life that you do not agree with, but you also understand that that is someone else's expression of their God-given power, their God-given right. That simple knowing gives freedom to you, and as you give freedom to yourself, you give freedom to others, whether they accept it or not. But there's beauty in knowing that your divine expression does not need the approval of any other person. It's already approved by God. There's no need to judge. It's simply moving towards what you see for yourself and being that, not waiting for it to come, but knowing that it's already with you. Every opportunity you get, you accept it more and more. You embrace it more and more. So there's nothing to chase. Because when you want something to chase, you'll always be behind something. You'll always be in pursuit. Embrace the reality that it's already yours. God has already given it to you. Operate in that knowingness. That feeling doesn't matter what kind of techniques, methodology you use. It really doesn't matter because things don't work. You make things work. We can go online and go through books. We can go through any and all things and find different versions of how outcomes have played out for people because of techniques. But your power gives the technique to utilize the, what's the word I'm looking for? Your power gives the technique the ability to work. Because you work it, you mold it into what you want it to be. So trust in who you are. Trust in the life that you give to things, ideas, beliefs, people. Because the way that you see it in your mind, the way that you feel it in your heart, that's the way it shows up to you. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Until next time, be blessed. Please, don't forget to smile.